Apart from this committee which you have witnessed, we have other committees uh, doing, you know, vetting in the main chamber, the committee room, other committee rooms. So here we have vetted the CC for the nominee for, uh, for, for the governor's office, the department of uh, decentralized unit. And we have taken him through the, you know, the thorough vetting process the committee has developed, the guidelines. So, generally, we have taken him through his background, his, uh, uh, you know, suitability for the position, his, the, you know, his educational background, how that is relevant to the job he has been nominated for, and what paradigm shift is bringing to the, you know, to the cabinet because this position is a member of the uh, CC, uh, the executive committee of the county government. And from there now the committee is, uh, the committee is going to write the report for submission to the House now. And it's up to the House maybe to consider approving or based on the merits and the merits of the vetting process. This is a very, very serious uh, issue. It is a global, you know, uh, crisis. And the Wajia County, the people of Wajia County, like any other citizen of this world, must take this threat very serious. We are not immune to the virus. If it has killed any human being on the earth, we are as vulnerable as that human being. The vulnerability can only be reduced by the steps we take in terms of you know precautions, in terms of personal hygiene and all those things, and even starting with the county assembly, we have put in place you know all uh, necessary uh, measures. We have provided uh, uh, water, we have provided uh, sanitization uh, sanitizers. So we have sent our staff to work from home, and even the committees we have found today that it is possible to actually do this exercise despite the crisis because it, we have given them, you know, uh, a very spacious space to sit, distant uh, sitting, so that at least members are comfortable in terms of the vetting. Our people must take this exercise very serious. Our people must follow the guidelines given by the government. And even the Wajia County Assembly is considering, to convening, to consider a budget specifically for to deal with this excess this pandemic we have uh, the disaster the county disaster management act which provides for two percent of our budget to be allocated to deal with the disasters like this pandemic so the Wajia county assembly is now in the front line in ensuring that that resources is specifically used for for this uh, pandemic excess we are not allowing this um, uh, funds in the wake of this crisis to be used for any other purpose. So, actually members are proposing measures to restrict the funds to, to that line of, you know, using it for only managing this crisis. Because I don't think we, uh, we have a bigger crisis than this. This one has the potential of killing all of us. And if we don't take the necessary measures, then our lives will be at risk. So if the resource we have, if we use it prudently and, you know, we manage the situation, I think we'll be in a better position to, to reduce the, the veracity of the, this uh, disease. And uh, as much as the government is putting guidelines in, uh, in place and, you know, there are a lot of campaigns, I would like to appeal to our people that they must take this very serious. It is their personal hygiene that matters most. That it is their self-isolation that matters most. Consider yourself, when, before even you come home, you as an individual, how many people you have interacted with, and are you causing more problems to your family members? So, even when you are coming home, don't mix, don't go to the kitchen directly, don't go to the sitting room, the living room directly. Make sure you isolate yourself to some extent so that at least our people are safe. Our people are safe. And even the, our media fraternity, 
you also at risk. Our uh, officers, uniformed officers, uh, their lives are also at risk. So we wish everyone to stay safe as much as we fight these things as a country, as a county, as one people and one nation.